with Stephanie here. I'm a clinical pharmacist currently practicing in Toronto, Canada, but received my training in British Columbia. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about what you can expect from a hospital pharmacy residency program. I want to make this video because I often get asked by pharmacy students whether they should apply for a hospital pharmacy residency after they graduate. As someone who has completed her year one hospital residency program, I think everyone who wants to be a clinical pharmacist as their career goal should apply for it. And this is regardless of whether you want to practice in community, retail, hospital, and the long-term care setting. So why do I think that everyone should apply for hospital residency? Before I go on, I just want to clarify the following terms that you will encounter when you research into this topic. In Canada, the year one hospital residency program is equivalent to PGY1 in the state. And similarly, year two hospital residency program is equivalent to the PGY2 program in the states. To give a brief overview of the program, year one hospital residency consists of rotations that takes place across various hospital sites in different specialties. They're usually at a four week interval uh, where you'll be paired with a hospital pharmacist preceptor who will supervise your work as well as mentor you on all patient assessments. What can you expect during this year? The program will really help you nail down and develop that thought process that you started developing in school. Students often have a misconception that they will become an expert in various disease states at the end of the program, but this is wrong. Your preceptors are knowledgeable in their field because it took years of experience and practice to get there. The whole program is designed to help you build the systematic approach so that you're capable of looking up anything that you don't know. Although the program will not make you an expert after one year, it will help you develop your clinical skills and knowledge. This will better prepare you to take on the expanding scope of pharmacy in any settings in the near future. You will be doing lots of presentations, at least two a month. By the end of the program, you're going to have confidence like you've never had before speaking in front of any audience. There will be at least one research project that you need to develop and complete. And depending on your hospital preceptors, there may be other research projects that you can be involved with to further hone your research skills. Because you will rotate through various hospital sites, you will have a chance to meet many pharmacists as well as staff members and students from the interdisciplinary team. Some people refer to residency as a year long interview. The pharmacy world is small, so take advantage of it and make a good impression. Even if you're not sure, just apply anyway. For example, in British Columbia, having a residency training is a requirement to be a hospital pharmacist. Therefore, this will keep you versatile in the competitive job market. So you ask, what are the cons of pharmacy residency then? You will be compensated at a lower rate compared to if you applied for a staff pharmacist role in either the retail or hospital setting. However, if you have the financial stability, I think the experience gained is well worth it. This year won't be a breeze in the park. Think of it as working full time on top of school. You will be studying, preparing for presentations and completing assignments outside of working hours. But if you have the time management skills, this will be worth your while. I hope this video has helped you with your decision on whether you want to pursue a pharmacy residency, or at least give you some points to consider. If you want to know more about this process, or if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'm looking forward to embarking on this learning journey together in my next video. Till next time, bye!